G'day guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another Guitar Zero to Hero song tutorial. In this lesson, I'm going to teach you how to play I Remember Everything by Zach Bryan and Casey Musgraves, which is a beautiful acoustic tune. Now for the basics of this song, you'll just need your guitar and standard tuning and you won't need a capo. Now if you want to master your chords back to front, then be sure to head over to guitarzerotohero.com to pick up my free guitar ebook. Or if you want to improve in guitar in general, then check out Guitar Zero to Hero Premium, which is my complete step-by-step -step guitar course. Alright, let's jump into the lesson. Okay, so let's start with the verse chord progression, which is really nice and easy. And there's two lines of chords here. So let's start with the first bar, and we're just going to play an A minor, and then we're going to go to a G chord. So this G chord can be sort of a somewhat lazy sort of G chord, where we just focus on the top sort of four or five strings. So to play that, we just have our ring finger on the third fret of the sixth string, and middle finger on the second fret of the fifth string. And you can just sort of focus on as I said, these top four or five strings. Now, these two chords, the A minor to the G, they're contained within one bar, but this bar is actually just three beats long. Now, my suggested strumming pattern goes like this. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up. And where we change to the G chord is on that three beat. So just the final down, down, up. And all together, down, down, up. And then we go to a C chord. So with the C chord, we now move to four beats in the bar and we're gonna play a strumming pattern that goes like this. Down, up, up, down, up, up, down, down, up. So we put all that together in the first line of chords. Now the second line of chords is basically the same, except our C and our A minor are in reverse order. So we're gonna stay on the C chord, and we're gonna play the exact same strumming pattern for this first bar, which is three beats long, and where we change the G chord on the three beats. So down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up. And then we go to the A minor, and that's just played for that long strumming pattern that spans four beats. So the second line of chords, We put that all together and this is what the verse will sound like. One, two, three, four. Now I'm going to show you one embellishment we can add to this chord progression to make it sound even better. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some hammer-ons. Now these occur for the second chord in each of the lines of chords. So for the first line of chords, when we go to the C chord, on the first down strum, we're going to actually have our middle finger lifted, but as we strum the chord, we're gonna hammer that finger into place. So it sounds like this for the first line of chords. Now the same thing will apply to the A minor and the second line of chords, except we're going to start with our ring finger lifted and we're going to hammer that into place on the first down strike, like that. So the second line of chords. Now one other thing worth noting that makes this progression easier to play is that you can keep your index finger here on that first fret of the second string pretty much the whole time if you wanted to. So even with the G chord, technically this is a G at 11 chord, but it makes changing from the A minor to the G to the C really easy because you got a anchor point here in which to just move your fingers. You'll see me kind of just keep that index finger there the whole time during the playthrough, but again, you can just play the lazy G chord without that index finger if you want to. So the verse progression all together with the hammer-ons, One, two, three, four. 
All the strumming patterns are just my suggestions, of course. So feel free to improvise just as long as you're within the correct time signatures, you'll be fine. Now there's one slight variation to this and this is just before the first chorus. So for the second line of chords, he actually doesn't play a strumming pattern. He just strums each chord once. Now with this C chord, instead of holding it out for two beats, it's kind of like two and a half beats. He sort of draws it out with his vocal melody. Now in the playthrough at the end, I'm just gonna play it for three beats. So a little longer than our two beats we typically have. The G chord for one beat and then A minor for four beats. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That's what I'm gonna kinda do just before the first chorus. Now we get to the first chorus and there's two lines of chords here. We're gonna play an F chord. Now if that F chord is too difficult for you, then you can also try this version where we just have our ring and pinky fingers on the third frets of the fifth and fourth string, middle finger on the second fret of the third, index finger on the first fret of the second string. And if you can, reach over the top with your thumb to hit the first fret of the sixth string. If you can't fret that note with a thumb, that's okay. Just, just focus on those middle four strings and it'll sound just as good as a full F bar chord. Then we go to a C chord and we go to a G and then an A minor chord. Now each of these chords is just strummed with a down, 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 up strumming pattern and in succession, down, 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 up, down, 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 up. So the first line of chords. One, two, three, four. That first line of chords is played through four times and the second line of chords is similar, except instead of going to an A minor, we stay on the G chord for two strumming patterns. So. Then we have verse two, which is the same as verse one, and then we have chorus two, which is basically the same as chorus one, except the first line of chords is played through eight times and not four times. Finally, we have the outro, and it's the same chords as the verse, except we're not playing any strumming patterns, we're just holding each chord out for its required length. So first chord held out for two beats, second chord for one beat, and the third chord in each line is held out for four beats. So one, two, and three, and And that's everything you need to learn for this awesome track. So now I'll be doing a full playthrough of the song and I'll have a vocal track on top for some context. A big thanks to my friends Eric and Charlotte June for lending their awesome vocals to these playthroughs. Feel free to play this back as many times as you'd like to to practice, play along to, and see how you go.
rest on a drying line Do I remind you of your daddy in my 88 Ford? Labrador hanging out the passenger door Thanks so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this lesson, then I know you'll absolutely love these other lessons too. So hit the link here, or if you wanna grab a copy of my free guitar ebook, then head over to guitarzeritohero.com or click the link here. Thanks so much, and I'll see you guys next time on Guitar Zero to Hero. Cheers.